Good day everyone, how are you? Today we will be talking about the types of speech act. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to define what is a speech act, distinguish the types of speech acts, and reflect on your learning on the types of speech act. When we speak a language, we perform speech act. When we say speech act, this is the utterance that the speaker makes to achieve an intended effect. So this is a, any act performing by the speaker in making an utterance as stating, requesting, advising, or persuading. A speech act might contain one word or several words or sentences. Examples are sorry, thanks, thank you, I really appreciate it. Speech act are not into how knowledgeable you are in the language, but appropriateness in a language use is even more important. According to Austin, there are three types of speech act. First is the locutionary act. It is the act of making meaningful utterance. So when we produce an utterance, that is what we call a locutionary act. So let's have some example. It is raining outside. So the example is the literal meaning and that is an example of locutionary act. So the speaker must produce clearly the words in order to deliver the intended meaning of the message. Second is the elocutionary act. It is a social function of what is said. So it is, it is the speaker's intention in delivering the message. And this includes stating, apologizing, threatening, predicting, or requesting. So let's use the same example, it is raining outside. So the speaker wishes or wants the hearer to use an umbrella if he or she goes outside. It may mean that the speaker doesn't want you to go out yet because it is still raining outside. Third is we have the perlocutionary act. It is the resulting act of what is said. This action or state of mind brought about by or as a consequence of saying something. So in other words, this is the effect or the result of the adherence of the hearer depending on specific circumstances. It can be persuading, embarrassing, imitating, irritating, or inspiring the hearer. Let us use the same example, it is raining outside. So what is the locutionary effect? So it can be the hearer may use an umbrella if he or she is going outside. Or the hearer may stay for a while until the rain subsides. Now let's talk about Charles' classification of speech act. John Charles classified elocutionary acts into five distinct categories. First, we have assertive. This is the type of elocutionary act in which the speaker expresses belief about the truth of a proposition. Some examples of assertive elocutionary acts are suggesting, putting forward, swearing, boasting, and concluding. Second is directive. This is the type of elocutionary act in which the speaker <coughs> tries to make the addressee perform an action. Some examples of some examples of directive elocutionary acts are requesting, asking, ordering, inviting, advising, and begging. Third is commissive. This is a type this is a type of elocutionary act which commits which commits the speaker to doing something in the future. Examples are promising, planning, vowing, and betting. Fourth is expressive. This is a type of elocutionary act wherein the speaker expresses his or her feelings and also his emotional reactions. So some examples of expressive elocutionary acts are thanking, apologizing, welcoming, and deploring. The last type of elocutionary act is declaration. This act brings a change in the external situation. Some examples of declarations are blessing, firing, baptizing, bidding, passing a sentence, and excommunicating. Alright, so let's have a recap on the types of speech acts. First is the locutionary. It is what we say. And elocutionary is what we mean when we say it. And prelocutionary is what we accomplish by saying it. Let's have another example. It is hot in here. The locutionary is the literal meaning and the utterance of how the speaker uttered the words. And elocutionary is the indirect request for someone to open the window. So it is requesting. 
or it can also be an indirect refusal to close the window when someone says he is cold. So it is refusing. And of course, the perlocutionary is it could be a result to someone opening the window. So there you have it guys, the three types of speech act. And I hope guys that you have learned something. See you again next time.